Call me Eshmiel. Some years ago, never mind how long precisely, having little or no money in my purse, and nothing particular to interest me on the shore, I thought I would sail about a little, and see the watery part of the world. That's when I discovered it. It's not down in any map. True places never are. There she blows! Thus, I give up the spear. No, no, no! Phew. That could have been a lot worse. Oh no, not again! This is Wales, a little country within the UK, which in modern Welsh is called Camry. This word comes from a Britonic word meaning fellow countrymen, friends, or companions. And this beggars the question, why on earth is Wales called Wales in English? Well, the Welsh name and the English name actually come from the same time period, when the Anglo-Saxons invaded Britain. Germanic peoples like the Anglo-Saxons had a term coming from an older Proto-Germanic term which they used to refer to foreigners. This was derived from the name of a Celtic tribe known to the Romans as the Volca. The story goes that the Volca were the first people to best the Germanic tribes who invaded Europe from the north and that the Germanic peoples then used their name, pronounced rather differently, to refer to the Celts and the Romans. Over time, the word just came to mean any stranger or foreigner and when the Anglo-Saxons came to Britain, the word was not restricted to modern Wales or to the Welsh, but was used to refer to anything that the Anglo-Saxons associated with the Britons, even the walnut. As the Anglo-Saxons never conquered Wales, the term stuck and eventually over time, and with the evolution of the English language, the name Wales stuck with the country. But there's one last question which needs to be answered. Why does Wales not have land at the end of it like Scotland and England. Well, this is likely due to the fact that England means place of the Angles, Scotland means place of the Scotti, while the country of Wales gives its name to the people. So, to conclude, the Welsh for Wales basically means our country, the English for Wales basically means their country, and unlike in the rest of Britain, the people are named after their country and not the other way around. Thanks for watching, please stay tuned for more, and if you want more on this particular subject, why not check out the two subsidiary videos on Cornwall and Wallonia. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share. Thanks again.